Well, it is time for me to join on the trend. We are going to be doing a full FIFA imperialism. The first section is going to be Argentina. We're going to go through all of the countries, even the rest of the world, even international. If a team wins, they get the best player from the team they just beat. We're starting off with Argentina and we're going to get the top four teams from each um, category. Then, with those top four teams, we're going to put them all into against each other. So against every single category. If you come fourth, you go in first. If you come third, you go in next. Second, next, first, next, and then we have all of them. We're starting off with with three episodes per uh, three games per episode, and we're starting off. The first team is Banfield. Okay, we're going to find out who Banfield are attacking. Banfield will be attacking. Union. So, the first game is Union against Banfield. Since Banfield is attacking, they will be away and be playing at Union. Let's get into the first game. Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from La Liga Profesional de Football. It's Union Santa Fe, and they take on Banfield. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And they kick off here. Moving forward effectively. Clattered away. And a body in the way. Determined defending. Insua. And taking it away. Alaman. Tremendous ball played through, but how well he did to cut that one out.
And that is going to be a free kick. He's going forward well here. And he takes it on. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Inside he goes. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Can someone get on the end of this? Struggling to get it away. Oh, a vital interception. Well, he could really get at the opposition. That's well blocked. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Can he finish? He opted for placement, but it didn't happen for him. And he takes it away. An attack full of promise. Oh, big opportunity. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. He has teammates around him. Well, disappointing end to the move. Other man. Promising attack, this. Takes it on. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Keeper's given it away, inexcusably. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Over it comes. And still dangerous. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Now he must favour the cross. Still could put it away. Will it be? Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. 
Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Vera. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Could be! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Keeper not concentrating. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. So a throw in here. Oliveira. It's with Emmanuel Insua. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. This looks interesting. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Counter-attacking very much an option. Lovely ball over the top. Well, nothing productive, really. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Good visualisation and execution. Chance to put them in front. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. Now sending it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Must be! Well, trying to place it, but without any great success. Well, maybe went for the wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. An awful lot of green space to run into. And space to cross it. Very quick thinking there. Oh, great play. Can he put them in front? And there the move will end because it's offside. Close, though. Here it is now, a substitution.
Oliveira will take it away he won the ball good looking sequence might be a chance here he can't hold on to it well nothing comes of it being pressed and pressed high Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. He's driven in the corner. Well, not cleared away completely. A wonderful intervention. Awed. Perfect tackle. Could cross it in here. Superbly read and executed. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Oh, great vision. Dangerous-looking attack. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And he has options available. Useful ball to the near post. Oh, no. And that's a really disappointing effort from there. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. Well, they still have designs on the win. He has time to play it over. Really good challenge. Alaman. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And attempting the through ball. And there it is, a chance. And it's come off the keeper. And he clears it out of harm's way. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Well, this is a really good game of football. Both sides have played well going forward. There's been plenty of chances, goals, and a lot of near misses. It's been great entertainment. Yes, a tremendously invigorating contest, no doubt. Easy on the eye. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Cabrera Andres Chavez A 
and teammates around him. Really a very poor ball. Opportunity in the wide area. How about the cross? Now sliding in field. Has eyes for goal. He's blocked it. Can they forge ahead on this corner kick? Let's see. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Taken short. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Defence of Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Determined defending. Over the touchline for a throw in. Will he play it in? That's a routine take. Awed. Vecino. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Vecino and given the situation a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner well, a bit short with the clearance could be oh yes it's gone in and now a chance for them to revel in the moment Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Real chance. Oh, a smart save to keep the minute. Well, that keeps it interesting, but they're running out of time here.
And the short option preferred. Good stop from the keeper. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Over it comes. Now it still could be dangerous. Might be dangerous. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game. But they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, after extra time, Union have protected their land and Banfield will now be out of the FIFA imperialism. So Union will get Banfield's best player from their team. We'll find out who that is now. Well, the best player from Banfield is a 75 rated centimetre called Aliman. Brahian Aliman. So he will be joining Union for this FIFA imperialism competition. Well, Banfield has been removed from the wheel. Who is our second attacker? Our second attacker is Central Cordoba. Let's quickly find them. There they are. Central Cordoba. And who are Central Cordoba attacking? The second matchup is going to be Central Cordoba are attacking Patronato. Patronato. Where are they? So, this is the second matchup. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from La Liga Profesional de Football. It's Patronato up against Central Córdoba. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's the same system, so it's very much about the individual battles. The team that wins more of those should dominate and win the game.
And the contest begins. Enzo Kavinsky. A creative look about this. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Did well to win the ball back. Luis Miguel Rodriguez. Is this the moment? A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Sosa with it. Could be threatening. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Gamba. Luis Miguel Rodriguez. Danger averted. Must be. Well, oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Elects to go short. Veering in field here. Has eyes for goal. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Domingo. Showing a real will to win the ball. Chance to finish. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Rios in possession Kalinski well not the greatest pass easily intercepted and it's come off the keeper on a time for composure on the ball Torres on the ball. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. And a good-looking ball. And back with Sosa. He'll take this on. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Ciro Rios... This is looking threatening. 
and space to cross it is it going to be oh my goodness he's caught that so well a goal of the highest class fantastic technique let's see this again because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better played into just the right area and what a great finish it is struck with power and accuracy certainly no stopping that And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Good tackle, take it away. Enzo Kalinski. Chance to cross. Can he do it? And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Blistering first half display and just look at that score. Gamba. And he could really get at the opposition, putting his body on the line. Playing it short. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. The first half here comes to an end. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And they will make the change now. And deciding to go short with this one. Rios. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Illegal play, and hence a free kick.
Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, very effective play in possession. Will he find the net? And able to get a body in the way. And he takes on the shot. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. On the ball, Arce. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Could be a chance to break here. Domingo. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Gamba. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Lost possession. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Let's fly here. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, no damage done. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Nazareno Solis. Enzo Kavinsky. Is it going to be? Domingo nicely cut out Gamba well that's how to keep the opposition at bay counter-attacking very much an option well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Now well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Foul there, free kick awarded. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. The pass could do damage. And tossing through. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Pressing high to win the ball. Now can they counter clinically? Enzo Kavinsky. 
And the keeper more than equal to the task. And over it comes. Well, not the best clearance. It's a corner. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, the danger is still there. Has a go! And keeping it out. Who can they pick out? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And of course, he scored two really good goals. Well, the second game is over, and this time, the attacking team has won. Patronato has been defeated by a lot, by 4-0 by Central Cordoba. So, Central Cordoba will be getting Patronato's best player.